I want you to just say whoa to cancer. So I want you to know that we, we now know that as individuals we have enormous control over whether or not we get cancer. It's remarkable. This is glorious good news. In fact, we recently had the most definitive review of science to date looking at diet and lifestyle and its impact on cancer risk. So that's the way you can just say woe to cancer is through what you eat and through your lifestyle choices. And when I say we just had, had the most definitive review of science to date, here's what happened. Literally hundreds of the world's most esteemed cancer researchers got together and reviewed 7,000 studies methodically, meticulously. It took them five years. And here are the results. This is literally a masterpiece um, of, 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 sci of scientific, scientific, scientific data. I think of it sort of as the Mona Lisa when it comes to science, lifestyle, and cancer. And one of the wonderful things that the researchers did, you know, someone like Dr. Ann loves this book. It's very near and dear to my heart because it allows me to do what I do, which is to provide reliable science-based um, guidance for you. But you know what? You won't want to read that book like I do. So one of the great things that this uh, group of, of uh, cancer researchers did is they distilled all of that information down into basically 11 key things that they identified that people could do to dramatically decrease their cancer risk. And I want to cover with you the top four, because if we did all 11, the video would be too long. We'll do that another time. Uh, so what are the top four most powerful things you can do to decrease your cancer risk? Lo and behold, the first one is not going to be anything unfamiliar. Do not smoke or use tobacco products. Uh, smoking and use of tobacco products remains the single greatest preventable cause of cancer death. No surprise there. The second one is somewhat new. A lot of people don't know this and that's why I get so passionate about delivering this message. The second was be as lean as possible within the normal range of body weight. What am I telling you? I'm telling you that next to whether or not you smoke, the second most powerful thing you can do to decrease your risk of cancer is to keep your body weight in a healthy range. What do they say, say to do? Ideally, a BMI, that's a body mass index between 21 and 23, uh, anything less than 25 is acceptable, but 21 to 23 is the very best when it comes to cancer perfection. Excuse me, cancer protection. The third thing, be physically active as part of everyday life. You always hear, hear me say movement is required for life, and people have got to realize that. And being physically active, again, it's the third most powerful thing you can do as an individual to decrease your cancer risk. What did the study show? You need to engage in at least 30 minutes of moderate to vigorous uh, aerobic activity, most, i.e., five days a week, but it's best it's best, based on all this science, to work toward even an hour of moderate to vigorous aerobic activity five days a week. And lastly, limit consumption of energy-dense foods. Let me define that. Energy-dense foods are foods that give you a whopping dose of calories when you partake in them. These are things like our sweets, you know, so pastries and cupcakes and ice cream and cheeseburgers and french fries and fried chicken, all those foods. So limit consumption of energy-dense foods and avoid sugary beverages. When they say sugary beverages, they're talking about the sodas, the fruit drinks, the sports beverages, and I don't know if you know it, but avoid scientifically. When scientists say that, that means do not drink. Do not drink. And a little another caveat that they added, and these are their words um, to this particular directive was consume fast food sparingly if at all. So those are the most powerful four things you can do as an individual to decrease your cancer risk. I hope you listened. I hope you took note, right? Because I want you to just say woe to cancer. And remember, you are the only one that can make you healthy. I want you to take charge of your health. So do those things. For ICU, this is Dr. Ann.